midlife crisis. I sit back and uh, scroll through Facebook. (laughs) And you can't help but laugh at yourself. Because you was part of that crowd. The people that's going through midlife crisis is funny to watch. And it's not that you laughing at them. You're kind of laughing Because you know that's you as well. Get a wild hair and decide to do something strange. Like grow your hair out. Or color your hair something way off key. Yeah, I see these guys my age. Flexing with gold, baseball caps. We in the building. (laughs) We out here. Man, if you don't stop that. Nah, but I was right along with him. I'm not sure if I'm done with that yet, my midlife crisis. I surely hope I am, because that is hard to watch from this side. From the other side, from the outside looking in, it is hard to watch, fellas. And I don't know about the ladies, because I don't watch the ladies go through no midlife crisis. It's usually the dudes. We out here. I got my gold, I'm flexing. You see my new watch? I got these J's on. What did Kevin Samuel say? Kevin Samuel said, he don't even wear no gym shoes. Rest in peace. He bought all dress shoes. Dressed like a grown man. You know what? I kind of agree with him. You don't want to, when I was younger in my 20s, I said, when I get to my 40s, I'm going to still dress young because I want to be cool. From the outside looking in, you don't look cool. You look like you're trying to hold on. And it's sad, man. It's hard to watch. Telling you, it's hard to watch. And if I see it, you know the females see it. Because they know this way more than we do. So they can read us like a book real quick, real nice and easy. We in the building. We out here. Tap in, tap in, tap in. Yeah. this I'm on my grown man, bro. Start dressing up. What brought this to my memory? Well, to my mind today. I don't get to look in the mirror much. Except when I'm at truck stops and the lighting in those bathrooms is not like the lighting in your own restroom. So I get home. I look in the mirror and I just see all these grays in my hair, beard and my crop. I said, shoot, I might as well embrace it. I might pull a different type of chick. I see the motor chicks looking at me. I see them. But everybody want a younger chick, but she going to run circles around me. And we ain't going to be on the same level. Shoot, my my last relationship, a girl was older than me. She was five years older than me. I be pulling the old ladies, and my homies know that.
But this is the reason why I'm growing my hair, because I was shaving my head bald to hide the grays. I said, you know what? I'm going to embrace this and have me, look, me like a, a mini fro. <clears throat> yes, indeed. Because I refuse to dye my hair. I just be grayed out. My cousin had a point. My cousin say, he live in Chicago. So you know what he deal with. So when the young boys see him, he got a big old gray beard. It's like, oh, that's just the old dude. Don't mess with him. Because when I had my hair, my dreads, I was attracting a lot of attention from unwanted, the unwanted attention. I'm walking down the street, you know, just trying to get my fitness on. And uh, I'm attracting these gang members and not that type of attraction. Pause. You know what I'm saying? It's the attention of sweating like they trying to mean mug you and sweat you because I got dressed. So they trying to, you know. Look at me, see where I'm from. So since I've cut my hair off, I don't get that attention no more. That unwanted gang, gang banger attention. Yeah, so embrace it. It's another journey, another chapter, another page to turn. What about being single? Staying single? Really not by choice. I think it's God's will because there's a lot of people that's single right now. And this is the time that all of us are single. And we need to be getting closer to God. Think about it. When have you seen this many single people? I don't remember a time like this. So I think it's a set time that God has set up on us to focus on us. Because you can't. Yeah, two heads is better than one. However, if you master yourself and the other person, your mate, your soulmate on the other side of the city, they master they self. Now think about how great you'll be. So this period is a time to master yourself. Self-control. All that damage that we have, trauma that we have, I think, I really think this is that period. And the only reason I say that because everybody's single right now. Not everybody. Of course not everybody. But I've never seen this many single people ever. I don't know if you'd be on Facebook like me, but every single day I see somebody talking about how single they are. When have you ever seen that? I'm guilty of it. I slight way be throwing little hints out there. Yes, I do it. You know, the last thing I said about being single, I said, it's that time of season. I said, tis the season for me to find a movie buddy. Netflix and chill. 
But I didn't say Netflix and chill. I said Tubi and Smash. Okay. Let's say you did get a girlfriend, boyfriend. You've been single so long. As soon as your mate come and is down with the program, you're going to wish you were single again. Am I lying? So embrace this time. This time period that we in, this era, embrace that. The single life. It gets lonely. It gets depressing. And I'll be the main one with like, well, fuck it then. I guess I'm going to be single for the rest of my life. Fuck it then. Yeah, that's me. You just want somebody to think you dope. That's all. I just want somebody to think I'm dope. Not in music, just as a person. Like, that's a dope dude. She digging me. And vice versa for the ladies. You just want somebody to think you dope. And smart. Make you laugh. Or you make them laugh is what I meant to say. Shoot. We were made to do that. that I mean. <laughs> I've done all I can. To attract someone. My homeboy told me. Wait till your hair get long bro. You gonna be really pulling up. That didn't work. I remember when I cut my hair off. I was attracting a whole different caliber of woman. Rocking the ball head. I was attracting different type of women than when I had hair. Still single. Well, fuck it then. I'm going to just stay single for the rest of my life. Pity party. <laughs> Having a little pity. Who, who going to feel sorry for you? Man, this is a different time. <laughs> it's, it's really unforgiving. Ain't nobody going to cook for you but you. Ain't nobody to feel sorry for you. When you get sick, who going to take care of you? Nobody. Just you. Yeah, I've been sick this year. And my, my kids hate to see me sick, so they kind of stay away. So it's just you. My kids get frustrated. And you know what I was doing? Self-medicating. Because you just want to feel better when you're sick. So what do you do? What I do? Should we go to the liquor store? <laughs> Self-medicate? Get you a... F Never mind. No need to go into detail. Because I don't want to trigger nobody. Trigger myself. Liquor store still open. Let me shut up. <laughs> Let me shut up. I'm good. I was going to grab a beer tonight, but I'm glad I didn't. My homeboy called and he was telling me how he can't have a beer. I said, you know what? Just for you telling me that, I'm not even going to drink a beer. You just scared me away to drink a beer. And I wasn't even going to grab a beer. I was going to get a Limerita. That barely has any alcohol in it. We got like 3% or something like that. Yeah, as soon as you get your mate, you ain't going to want her no more. You ain't going to want them no more. You two used to being single. So... How do we embrace it without feeling depressed and lonely? Learning curve. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a learning curve. 
like uh, the homie said, the troubled soldier. Went to the movies by herself. That's what I did too. I go to the movie theater by myself, and it's it's cool. I mean, yeah, you wish somebody was there, but I just know me. I'm so used to having my space, and I'm a big dude. I don't want nobody invading my space. I remember I met, went to the movie theaters with this chick. And we watched Meet the Blacks. Uh, yeah, I think it was called Meet the Blacks. And I was laughing, and every time I laughed, she looked at me. And then we went out to eat, and she was watching me eat. Because she didn't order nothing. I did. Like, why are you staring at me eating? That's besides the point. I'm just saying, I need my space. This world ain't big enough for the both of us. So embrace the single life, embrace the grays, and dress like a grown up. I don't think I'm gonna buy no more J's. You know what? I don't even go out anyway. But I wear the polos when I do dress up. Something real basic. I don't even know how to dress like them young cats, them rappers. I go to the hood and I see cats my age still dress like that. What I look like going to get new tattoos. What I look like going to buy a new chain new gold, a new grill. I might get a grill, though. But new tattoos? I remember my ex-wife mom, she was all of 59, 60, still getting struck up. I'm like, why? To each their own, to each their own, it's my prerogative, it's your prerogative. I just don't, I do want to get my arm filled up with a music note, but for what? I mean, it is art, and I'm an artist. I'm just thinking out loud, man. You can tell a nigga don't know what he want. I just know one thing, though. I'm going to start dressing like a grown man. I already started, too. I already started. Is that how I look when I be rapping on camera? Like, look at this old man still trying to rap. Trying to rap? What you mean trying to rap, girl? Please. Is that how I look? Still trying to rap? It's only our community that do that, though. I'm going to continue to do music. My music is just going to be more mature. I gave up on striving to lose weight. Remember yesterday, the other day, I did a video on not giving up? Well, I gave up on striving to lose weight. And this is what I did, though. Instead of giving up, I gave it to God. I said, God, this is in your hands because I've tried everything. I give it to God. I've tried absolutely everything 
even the extreme, which is fasting. I fast for 48 hours. I kept doing that. Uh, I must have, I probably lost 10 pounds and gained that right back in a week. So if you gain weight that fast, it probably wasn't legit. But yeah, I gave it to God. This I did that. Uh, I gave it to God just yesterday. I said, you know what, I'm done. Cause I've tried everything. I tried walking around the block. I went to. The, I used to go to the gym three times a day. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me take that back. I would go to the gym for, hold on, let me back up again. I would jog in the morning. Then I would go to the gym, go to work and get off of work and go walk for five miles. I did that for like three months and I just stayed the same. I'm jogging around the park, jog past these black ladies. The one black lady said, that's a big dude. Other girl said, not for long. Shoot. Yeah, I was getting it in. Jog in the morning, go to the gym. And then walk for five miles after work. <laughs> I did that. Man. I got stronger. <laughs> That's all that happened is I got stronger. And I probably looked better. More healthy. But I didn't lose a pound. So yeah. We strive and we strive and we strive. And there's no change. That's when you give it to God. So, God, this is in your hands. Because really, <clears throat> you know me, I got to I gotta take it far left. I'm very uh, keen to the spiritual side. I've always been, but now I'm starting to know how to fine tune it. And I can, in my life, I can clearly see that there's a force that's going against me. It's not. I can clearly see that there's a force there. I call it the nothing. You remember that show Lost? Did y'all ever watch that show Lost? And they had that black smoke that would come terrorize the people. They called it nothing. Well, that's the force that I'm talking about. Now, you know Hollywood puts stuff on TV to tell the truth. In a backhanded type of way. But yeah, this is what, see, this is me. Picture me, I'm walking, I love walking the streets. So I get so much clarity. I get my downloads as I'm walking. So I got a download of this force that's against me. The resistance. Someone, I've told this before, once the resistance stops resisting, that's when it's time to die. But this resistance is too much for me to handle on my own. This is why we need a savior. This is why we need a Messiah. Because these are spiritual forces at work. And we're in the flesh.
in this. Well, the Bible says this is all an illusion. So, is this a simulation? That's a whole nother, I don't even want to open that can of worms. My personal belief, yeah, it's something like a simulation. But I tell you one thing, whatever you do in the simulation, I think it has eternal effects. <laughs> so it's still real life now, don't get it too twisted. But anyway, back to the resistance. Yeah, man, it's a force against me. It's against us. But I just, I gathered this thought just doing my daily routines, just walking. <clears throat> I'm like, it feels like a force because every time I try, something strategically puts me, it's like a chess, a chess game. I'm like, who in the world is interested in stopping my progress so much? The universe is so vast. The universe is, I'm going to be like a, uh, Dang, what's his name? Where he repeats himself three times. Dr. Umar Johnson. The universe is so vast. The universe is so vast. He wants you to really know that point. The universe is so vast till it can direct its attention directly on you. You alone. The universe said, I got time for that. I got time for that. That's how big the universe is. The resistance is good, I guess. But it's annoying because I can't get what I want. And I'm thinking that's going to solve all my problems. Which it probably will not. If I dropped a good 50 pounds, that ain't going to solve my problems. That's even going to make me more depressed because I can't pull a lady. Like, I done dropped all this weight. And I still can't pull no lady. Yeah. The universe is so vast it can focus attention on you and you alone. Focus its whole attention. I'm thinking to myself, what and who and where can focus its attention on me alone? Who has that type of time? Because some things ain't the devil, man. I don't think everything's Satan, bro. I don't even like saying that name. I don't think everything's the devil. Some of it is the flesh, our own flesh, our own desires. Somebody said this one time, like the Bible don't tell you everything. And some things just come in my mind like that's not biblical. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I guess I'm going to just sit back, drink my water and drink my tea and wait on God. Whatever God say, whatever he say, go, I go. That's how I've been rolling. Yep. On another note, I'm driving home today. And I notice it's Friday. No, it ain't Friday. It's my Friday. Excuse me. I take that back. It felt like a Friday because it's my Friday. But anyway, this person rolling on my tail. 
Uh, he can smell my gasoline. I'm so focused on the guy behind me. I miss my own turn to my own crib. How does that happen? And that's my motto. My motto is don't let the person behind you get you fucked up. That's my motto. You know, I drive trucks for a living. So that's my motto. Don't let the person rush you behind you because that's how you can mess up, especially in a truck. So I killed my own motto by worrying about this person behind me so close on my tail. I missed the turn to my crib. What part of the game is this? Yeah, that's... I need not to do that. You can't worry about nobody else, man. How did that even happen? That's too funny. So yeah, embrace your age. Embrace life. Uh, I'm starting to dress like a grown man now. You know what I'm saying? Button ups. Polos. I ain't got no dress shoes yet, but yeah, that's next. Holla at you.